this is where we start getting into the half concrete, rough, half dirt, fun stuff. So here you just got to kind of tiptoe your line through this stuff. And don't drop it too deep in these ditches because I cut a tire last year during practice. But the sidewalls we got are a lot harder yet, more hardy. Straighten this one out. this one a little bit don't get too deep in it right about here and then you're going to push driver left to the left of the hay bales and the orange blocks and those aren't styrofoam this is concrete huh <laughs> yeah so don't hit them so you go to the left of that yeah they're going to be left to brake check raging up through there and then uh, we had this marked as a r2 loose um, because for some reason it just kept, see all this little stuff right here, kept pushing out on the road, but it's pretty clean right now. There's a uh, transponder or timer deals right down there. Before you get to the flagger? Before you get to the flagger. Then if you turn here, turn around here? Yeah, you'll turn around right in here, then uh, pull over to the far right side of the road and just stack up and uh, like double stack like we did today and wait to go back down. Because they were starting the second practice area like right here. Yeah, this is parking area. This is Cove Creek. This is for uh, middle section. So we'll do this on Friday. They had lots of cars and trucks and oh, stuff yeah, parking out. Nice. It's and they had them stacked, staged right here. I was watching it from up there. Yeah. These guys just <clears throat> last right here. So here's your double hay bales for the timing for <clears throat> here to the lines. So you'll start a little bit back, hit that, straighten this one out. Come into this R3 sweep. And you gotta watch this one also for sunlight. Because right up here at the gate on the left, uh, where it goes to Blue Sky, there's a gate going down the Elk Park. As soon as you clear this corner, that's when that sun sunlight's going to just. Look at that! Timberline, 12,000 feet. So right here, coming around this gate, that's where you'll start getting some sun, and it'll blind you and then you're coming into an R1. So just be prepared for it. So I always push way out to the guardrail and then chop this one. That's exactly what the fast guys are doing this morning. Cut the apex real hard and then just get in it coming out of it. Yeah. And then L3 sweep into L3 sweep. And then this is pretty fast right along here. It's pretty fun. You can short that one, go wide. What's wrong here? Uh, I just like JT's comments. This is a pretty fast one. <laughs> yeah, this is fast. JT's fast and my fast are going to be two different speeds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were getting it coming up this hill today. So, yeah, you straighten this one out. And then hug the left white line. Works for Yoder. <laughs> <laughs> right into the right line. Yeah. White line. Yeah. yeah. You still don't hook that white line too much, Yoder. No. It really well, you be... could go down and start over though. <laughs> if you didn't like your time. Show them how that rock climber really does. <laughs> L1 plus. <laughs> I would so love to have run this when this was all dirt. Can you imagine how oh, fun man. that would be? R1. 
There's a pretty cool shot of Colorado Springs right over that little rise right there. Uh, and these, you just gotta, you just gotta get through them. According to all the old timers, you just gotta work through them. Don't make a mistake. Try to come out of the corners with some momentum, but. Because you're climbing pretty good by this now, is, you're gonna yeah really gain an elevation. And then this one, I always push like middle, and then drop it back in, and then push it all the way to the outside. <laughs> Not all. Really? Outside. Well, right on the All white the line. All the outside, right there. Yeah, right on the right on the white line, and then short this one. Just drop across, white line, short that, and then drop it back out, and almost hit that guardrail. Because I thought that contour camera I had on the left side, I thought it was going to get wiped out by that guardrail last year, because I was close to it. R1 plus. Steep, steep road here. This is the other corner that Matt really doesn't like. <laughs> so he'll be telling me. No, not, no. not your man, no. my man. Yeah, Rooster doesn't like it. It's a L3 into L1 plus. Ten miles an hour through here, and then it, it just all hell breaks loose to the finish line. So the finish line for uh, middle section will be right in here. Hi, I'm Charlene, and after going to lots of events across the nation, I found something missing: cute girl shirts that actually fit. I came up with some fun designs, including the iDrive and iRide sayings, found good quality shirts, tanks and sweatshirts, an extra small to four extra large, and want you to enjoy them as much as I do. I made a special shirt from my mom, and I'm working on new designs right now. We also have other brands available on the website, including a complete I'm Not Just a Girl jewelry line. Check out the website, imnotjustagirl.com, and our Facebook page. Be sure to send me a picture of you wearing your shirt, and I'll be sure to post it.